Hey everyone and welcome back to the breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install all the mods 5, yes a 1.15.2 mod pack actually in Minecraft. We're going to be going over every single step of getting all the mods 5, getting it set up, getting it running in Minecraft, all that. It's going to be covered in this video. First and foremost though, we do have a message from our sponsor which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. If you want to set up an all the mods 5 server, it is super simple and easy to do it at Apex Minecraft Hosting. Literally all you do is select it during your sign up process and guess what? Your server is going to have all the mods 5 on it and then all you need to do is join it using the all the mods 5 setup that we're going to be getting in this video and you're done it's super easy in under five minutes you can have an all the mods 5 server up and running with apex minecraft hosting we actually love apex so much that we have our own server play.breakdowncraft.com on them so if you are truly looking for a great minecraft server for you and your friends to love and enjoy check out apex the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash apex to get an incredible minecraft server now let's go ahead and get the all the mods 5 mod pack installed now the first step of that is actually downloading the twitch app so if you go to the second link down below that's going to take you here this is actually our tutorial on the twitch app and it's very helpful if you want a lot of specifics about the twitch app we're just going to be going over and showing you how to install the all the mods mod pack here we're not going to be going into in-depth details of what the twitch app does if you want that there's a video in this article however for this video we're going to go ahead and just click on this yellow download twitch button that's going to take us off to twitch's official website where we want to click on the download for windows button under the twitch app here that will then go ahead and start a download automatically in the bottom left. You shouldn't need to keep the file on Google Chrome. You may need to save it on Mozilla Firefox, but it's 100% safe as well. This is Twitch.tv's official website, right? So now we can go ahead and minimize our browser. And in our desktop, we do have the Twitch setup. I also have this unconfirmed file. You probably won't have that, but if you do, no worries. Just drag it to the side. But once you have this Twitch setup, we can go ahead and get it installed. However, what if this isn't on your desktop? Well, if Twitch setup isn't on your desktop, it's going to be found in your downloads folder. And you can find that by clicking on the little Windows icons in the top left of my screen, bottom left of your screen most likely but look on that little windows icon on the top or bottom left of your screen right like so and then go ahead and type in downloads then you have this downloads file folder click on that and in here you will find the twitch setup it opened on my second monitor but in here you will find the twitch setup drag it to your desktop just for ease of use now we can go ahead and close out of that and get twitch set up this is super easy you just double click on the twitch setup there and then it will pop up this installer click on install and it'll go through and install the twitch app now one thing i will say is i already have it kind of installed so instead of like going through the entire process for me the only thing it's going to do differently for you is you'll need to log into your twitch account right you will need to log into twitch in order to get the twitch app for, to work for me it's just going to work automatically right so as you can see boom i'm automatically on basically like a twitch homepage. for you you'll need to log into a twitch account you must have a twitch account for this to work. If you don't have a Twitch account, you will not be able to install all the mods 5. After you sign to your Twitch account on the Twitch app, we can go ahead and click on the mods tab up here at the very top. And then once you're here, you're going to have Minecraft. Let me go ahead and delete this and make it how yours will be. Sorry about that, failed to do a little prep there. So now this is how yours is going to look. Minecraft will be grayed out like this and say not installed. Go ahead and click on that and then click on that purple install button. When you do, it's going to go ahead and install everything it needs to allow us to install the all the mods 5 mod pack. Once you've clicked that, you can click on Browse Mod Packs here. And then in this search box over at the right, go ahead and type in All the Mods 5, right like so. And then, boom, right down here we have All the Mods 5, All the Mods on 1.15.2. Awesome stuff. It's, as far as I know, one of the only 1.15.2 mod packs out right now that is, you know, from a huge mod pack developer, which is awesome to see. So, whenever you find All the Mods 5 here, or ATM5 for short, go ahead and hover over it, and you'll have this purple Install button. Click on that purple Install button, and the download will automatically begin give it some time though it's got a lot of mods to download and it's going to take a while so we're going to go ahead do a quick little jump cut until this is finished and it's installed and all that and then i'll show you how to play all the mods five now the reason this is going to take a while is because it's actually downloading as well as installing so it's doing both right it's downloading all the mods and everything that it needs and it's installing them getting them ready to go that way we can open up minecraft and play pretty much right away so anyway gonna go ahead and do a quick little jump cut and i will see you once we have this installed and there we have it all the mods five is set up how do we know well first that like installation progress thing that's gone and two this purple play button has appeared now you can click on that purple play button to get the mod pack to launch however you can also go over the my mod packs tab here and let's say you want to open up you know all the mods five again you would click on mods at the top you would click on minecraft and you would be put on this my mod packs page where you can just click on that purple play button when you click on that it's going to go ahead and download some stuff that won't happen every time it'll just happen the first time you launch all the mods five and it will open up the minecraft launcher now once we're in here you will actually need to log in with the minecraft launcher so you will need to go in and log into the minecraft launcher using your normal minecraft login information so it's going to be the same stuff that you need to use on the default minecraft launcher because guess what this is the default minecraft launcher so i'm going to go ahead and log 
log in really quickly and I will see you after a quick jump cut after I have logged in. There we go, we have now logged in and in the bottom left down here we automatically see all the mods 5-ATM5. If you don't see that, click on this little arrow here and you should have it selected if you do. And if you don't, don't freak out about it, just close out of this. Just click that red X in the top right and then click on that purple play button again on the My Mod Packs page. This time it's going to reopen up the Minecraft launcher, except you won't have to log in. It'll automatically log in. And once you're here, you should see all the mods 5 or click on this and select all the mods 5. Now you could click play here. However, I always like to add more RAM to Mod Packs because most of the time if you have an issue with a Mod Pack starting up, let's say you click play, all the mods 5 does not work. Well, guess what? You probably need to add more RAM. So to do that, click on the installations tab up here at the top. Find all the mods 5 here, hover over it, and click the three dots over here on the right, and then click on edit. Then you want to come down here and click on more options. Now we want to change the RAM, which is done right here at the first of it. So right by default, it has 3,200 megabytes of RAM dedicated. I'm going to go ahead and up that to 5,200 megabytes of RAM dedicated, which is overkill. You do not need that much. Most likely, 3,200 is going to be fine. But I'm going to go ahead and do 5,200 megabytes just to be safe. If you have any issues starting up, Increase your RAM. That's why you're going to have issues there. Uh, starting up is because you don't have enough RAM dedicated. I'm also changing my resolution. That's just so you all can see. And then we click save in the bottom right. Now just hover over all the mods 5 and click on that green play button. That appears. Again, we're going to be downloading more things. And it's going to open up all the mods 5. But it's going to take some time. And that's okay. Just be ready for everything you do with all the mods 5 or any mod pack to take time. There's a lot of downloading. There's a lot of installing. There's a lot of activating that has to happen every time you open the game. Now, the first time you open any mod pack is going to be the slowest time you open a mod pack. It will be significantly faster after that because all the config files and everything, that'll be generated. However, just give it some time. Let it open up. Sometimes it'll take up to 15 minutes to open some mod pack. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this download happen and I will see you after a quick jump cut. So the download finished and as soon as it finished, it immediately closes out of you know the, the Minecraft launcher there and starts opening this up right here, right? Minimize the Twitch app and this is basically the installation setup process of all the mods five. It's going to take a while. It's like I said, it could take up to 15 minutes, but this is step one. After it does this, it's going to move on to step two, which is right here. This is how it's opened up Minecraft and it's enabling all the mods in Minecraft. The preloader was Forge, did all that. Now Forge is making all that work with Minecraft. So this is going to take a while. One thing I do want to mention is if you have freezes like that, they're going to work themselves out. If like the, the screen turns white, I'm going to try to make it go not responding for us. Yeah, so right here, if it goes like not responding like this, no worries. Just let it sit not responding. It will work itself out. There we go. See, it works itself out and it's going to keep moving. Just give it some time. Let it open up. Walk away from your computer and come back in five or ten minutes and it should be open up and running or it should at least be kind of working to open up. But nevertheless, as you can see, it looks like it's opening up, but it'll probably freeze. Yeah all the time freezes right there because it's doing things in the background that it's not telling us about, but it's working and getting things working. But um, when not responding, again, just wait it out. It's the process of mod packs. It's going to be a little stressful. That's why I say walk away from your computer and come back in five or, or, five or ten minutes because guess what? It's going to be working at that point without any problems, issues, and all that. There we go. Worked itself out. But anyway, I'll do a quick jump cut and I will meet you on all the mods five main menu. And there we go, All the Mods 5 is now set up. We are here, we are on the All the Mods 5 main menu, as you can see in the bottom left. We do have Minecraft 1.15.2. Check, we can click on Mods and see all of the different mods here. Wow, a lot of mods, over 200 actually. All 1.15.2 native, which is something I like to see. But um, yeah, so we have All the Mods 5 set up and running. It is looking good to me. I will say one thing, if you have any issues during startup, it's because you need to add more RAM. I keep stressing that, but it's something that these mod packs do, they eat RAM. Now let's go ahead and jump into a single player world real quick. By the way, if you have an Apex server, you click on multiplayer and you can add it here and connect to it with uh, you know, the All the Mods 5 mod pack installed on it. But now let's just go ahead and click on single player. I'm gonna create a new world, just call it All the Mods 5 or ATM 5 and then make it creative. I always like to join into a world in these tutorials just to make sure everything's spick and span and looking good. So anyway, I'll do a quick jump cut. Once we're in this world, we'll end the tutorial. And here we are in game in all the mods five. Now I am getting a little bit of lag here, most likely because I'm recording while trying to play this mod pack. It is relatively resource intensive, but we've got these cherry blossom trees here looking good. And if we hit J, it will open up journey map, of course. All the different stuff that you can do with journey map is listed here. So yeah, pretty cool stuff. If you are aiming lag, you could add more RAM, but most likely your issue is actually going to be CPU usage. RAM inside of Minecraft, right, once you get in game, isn't used as much as CPU on these mod packs. That's why I'm lagging. I need more CPU. And unfortunately, there's nothing you can really do about that other than go get new hardware for your computer. So there's that though.
that's how you can get all the mods 5 installed. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more awesome mod pack tutorials and videos every single day of the week. We make tons of awesome content and come play with us on the best Minecraft server in the multiverse, play.breakdowncraft.com. We have incredible incredible factions, incredible skyblock, incredible survival. You will love it. Come play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP, and I cannot wait to see you online. Nevertheless, my name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I am out. Peace.